welcome to Star Citizen. So another episode of What is this ship? Where I go over ships that are not quite ready or well don't fit the role they are really meant for. Or even have some other stupid gimmick or feature that just makes them ever so less useful than some of the other ships. And today I am talking about the Drake Cutlass Steel. The dropship for a full crew of marines. Why this ship is not that great or why did I make a video about it? First of all, it's very expensive for what it is. Secondly, compared to Drake Cutlass Black, well, it does not have that much space in the back as there are a lot of seats for those marines and you can't really take any vehicles with you. These are the two main concerns. Thirdly, it's a dropship for a full crew of marines, a full squad, perhaps even half a platoon. All packed in this mediocre big vehicle that has a hard time maneuvering even though it has these big thrusters. So even though it is uh, durable, it's a pretty big target to hit. It also shares the health and the shields pretty much with the Trey Cutlass Black, so they're not too much different in that aspect. But given, this ship actually has a lot of weapons. Plenty of which in my book are useless because all of these uh, machine guns, miniguns, assault weapons that the marines are supposed to use have horrible aiming angles unless you're just uh, directing them at positions. But one of the good things this ship does have is it's got uh, a rear turret for the second or the co-pilot, while the top turret is also remaining so it does have some good firepower to cover its rear. This is also one of the main aspects of this ship that I like, a rear turret facing backwards and even a bit down. It does give you actually some good angles to cover the rear, but you can't really cover still underneath the ship, so that is somewhat exposed. But perhaps truly the biggest downside is the price of this ship when you buy it for real money. It is more than twice the price of a Drake Cutlass Black, and that is the major downside. Even though it's got those extra gunner positions, two on the back, two on the sides, I don't think this is really worth it. I mean, it's a big ship. It's a strong ship to an extent, but are you sure you want to put around 20 players on this single ship? Or perhaps you would just prefer to spread them out? That's why I kind of like the black. Because with the black you can put some uh, small hover bikes in the back or you can put a truck in the back. Plus there are six seats in the back for your marines. Now that I have dunked it on this ship quite heavily, the reason I don't think this ship is ready is quite simple. It's just like Drake Cutlass Black, but filled with uh, a lot of weapons and useless seats in my opinion. For a vehicle, although it is somewhat durable, I guess you would just do this drop and this vehicle might just be done for. The idea of giving support from this vehicle is nice, but at the same time the number of players required to operate all these guns, all these weapons on this vehicle is a bit much. Instead, I like what they did with the rear. They could have put two of these uh, laser turrets on the sides, which could have actually given it some really nice firepower and perhaps turned it into a gunship. This, however, is a bit of an overextended uh, dropship in my opinion. But hey, perhaps I am wrong, but this just seems a bit too much for this kind of ship. I'm sure there are some who disagree with me, but just look at how this ship is made, what it's meant for, and... Is it truly suited for the task it is built for? It's like the idea here is that you're fending off against the small arms fire, which probably won't be the case in most scenarios in this game. Anyway, let me know what you think and thanks for watching. 